Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Dems are coping once again after the most accurate pollster in 2020 gave them a death blow yesterday with a poll that had Donald Trump, when you expand it to include West Stein and everyone else, to plus four in a general popular vote scenario. And normally what you get with these polls, and I predicted yesterday they would do this, they've got these new ABC polls that are just, you look at the internal numbers, it's totally ridiculous. But the one way a pollster can tell on themselves is by releasing the internal numbers. And you can see this polling USA, this is probably some liberal hack account. Oh my God, laughing my ass off. They're using a 70% white sampling. Well, well, yes, I know you want there to be less white people in the United States. We understand that. That's with all the illegal immigration coming in. That's what liberals want. They want they want it to, I mean, they like brag about it going under 50%, but no, that's, that's pretty accurate on what it is. So it's like, even when it comes to the internal numbers where they try and pick apart these polls, all right, I can see how this is a Republican plus four poll. Well, yes, the population, the white population is, is around 70%. That's accurate. And, and it's like they're trying to pick this out. They can't even pick anything out. This is a, a very accurate pollster dating back to 2020. All the polls that they cite, like if you go back to the most accurate pollsters in 2020, they're all the most Republican bias polls. It's funny how that works, right? <laughs> but no, ABC and Quinnipiac, well, I guess Quinnipiac really isn't isn't doing it. But Bloomberg, we need some more Bloomberg polls that has Harris up by seven in, in, in Pennsylvania. That's going to be... That, that's going to do a whole lot. But even when you look at the internal numbers, they're grasping at straws. It's a 70% white sampling. The poll is meaningless. It's so slanted to Trump, even though it was the most accurate in 2020. And it, and it actually overestimated Biden's performance by 0.2 in terms of the popular vote. But no, it's so ac- it's so it, it's such a MAGA pollster. It's terrible. Uh, you've got this Iowa poll. This is another thing people have been referencing. This is... Uh, you know, surprising to be honest with you. Now, when it comes to this pollster, from what I've read, normally the last poll that they do, meaning the poll in late October, right before the election, normally it's very accurate. But when it comes to the polls before that, it's not as accurate. Now, obviously, just in a vacuum, this is not a great polling number for Trump being plus four in Iowa. This is a state you would think he would carry by at least nine or 10. The last poll they did, believe it or not, this pollster sat on it because they didn't want to release it because it made Biden look bad. And then it got released uh, in June and it had Trump plus 18. So, you know, if you're a liberal, oh my God, Trump going from plus 18 to plus four. But this pollster normally is not accurate until the final poll is released. That's their history. And again, this is like a liberal pollster. They didn't want to release the, the Trump plus 18 poll back in June. We had to practically pry it out to even get the poll to be released. So this is not a great number. I certainly thought when they were hyping up an Iowa poll being released, it would be at least minimum Trump plus 10. But this is just a one-off Des Moines-type Iowa poll. That is what it is. It's not the end of the world. And you've got this ABC poll that has Harris up by six. Even ABC saying their bias debate didn't move the needle. But I mean, plus six is just ridiculous. And the internal numbers are absurd. They've got, from what I heard, Trump and Harris basically tied with the male vote or close to it, which is just ridiculous. I saw even a poll that had Harris plus eight among men, or excuse me, Harris minus eight among men, meaning Trump was winning them by under 10 points, which is just ridiculous. I think men are going to win Trump the election because they've been so alienated by the left and they're basically called demons. And then they're like, you're demons, but vote for us. Okay. Yeah. That's like, that's a strategy that the liberals are using. So it's just not going to work. So I think men are going to go for Trump by 18, 19 points. It's going to swing the election, even though women vote more than men and they're going to go for Harris. It's not going to be by the same margin. That's what we've seen from the accurate pollsters. These polls are totally erroneous uh, that have Harris up by this much. You can see the Des Moines new poll that was released September 20th or September of 2020 versus September of 2024. In 2020, they had Trump and Biden tied, which is is pretty crazy to think about because obviously if you get a result like that and you're a liberal, you're going to say Iowa's a toss-up state, which it it wasn't. And, And now you can see Trump's gained four points since 2020 against Biden here versus Harris. And we would expect Trump to win Iowa by around... Uh, I would say around maybe 10, 11 points at least, you would think, at least 9 to 10. Democrats are getting DEFCON 1 numbers in early voting in North Carolina, yet by some miracle, we're going to see North Carolina have a sudden surge for Democrats. There are some very good early voting things coming out of North Carolina for Republicans with more absentee ballots being Republican there. 
This is the latest, uh, this is that poll that I was talking about yesterday that had Trump plus four. These are pretty, I mean, these seem like non-biased numbers. You can see the positive or negative image. This is the same exact pollster. They came out with uh, these numbers. I guess they also asked people their opinion. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama sitting plus 14, plus 15. That doesn't seem like it's a conservative slanted poll if Barack is sitting plus 15 in terms of favorability. Kamala Harris at negative two, Trump at negative five. Remember that ABC has tr ABC poll has Trump at 35% favorability. That seems r completely ridiculous. This one, it seems a lot more accurate where Kamala and Trump are similar. Harris is sitting minus two. Trump is sitting minus five. Biden is minus 14, which seems very accurate based on when you compare all the aggregate numbers on Biden's approval rating right now at 39%. Waltz is lower than Vance. So we're starting to see that shift, which doesn't really surprise me based on the fact that they've really hit Waltz and just how bad he is and, and how totally incompetent he is. He's sitting at minus 15. Vance is sitting at minus 13. RFK Jr. is minus 6. Hillary is at minus 25, 29. Boy, Hillary, she lost in 2016 and her approval numbers just tanked. I mean, she's the lowest one here. Newsom at minus 23. Uh, Schumer is at minus 20. Mike Johnson at minus 16. So those approval, uh, uh, you know, at whatever you want to call them, a positive, negative image of the following political, the approval ratings look really good for Trump when you compare it. And these check out is pretty accurate because again, Michelle and Barack are sitting plus 14, plus 15. That doesn't ring to me as a crazy Republican biased pollster, now does it? Uh, so you've also got this. And, and again, it seems like Trump and Kamala, as long as Trump is close to Kamala in terms of approval rating, those are really good news for, that's really good news for him. He doesn't have to be better, but as long as it's within, you know, seven to eight points, I, th I think e even 10 points, I think we're good based off of what happened in 2020 and 2016. Hillary Clinton was way more popular in terms of approval than Trump was, but Trump wins the election with over 300 electoral votes. He nearly wins in 2020. Biden had an approval rating of like plus five. Trump was like minus 13. So it was a difference of like 18 total points and Trump nearly won that election. He only lost it by around 44,000 votes. So they're coping. They're taking the ABC poll with, who has horrible internals. They're trying to say that this Atlas Intel, which was the most accurate pollster in 2020, they've got all the answers. It's total crap. Go back to 2020. Look at the most accurate pollsters. They're all seen as con conservative bias polls because Trump always overperforms the general national polls, the crap like the ABC polls that they take for gospel and they get graded out to be A-plus pollsters when it is totally ridiculous. They're constantly off, off on Trump, and now they've got another completely absurd poll that has Harris up by six in terms of the general popular vote, but even they didn't adjust it, so the debate had no impact. Even ABC is saying it. When Liberal said that she crushed him in the debate, I said it was going to have no impact. It's had no impact, and he actually, I think he actually won that debate, and there's a lot of people that said he won the debate, but either way, it's not going to have a huge impact. But the point of this whole thing is to show... It's the cope. It's the, oh my God, they're using 70% white sample. Well, yes, we know you want the country to be under 50% white, but that doesn't mean that that it's like that right now. There's not that many immigrants here. It's going to be a majority white election again, and it's going to be a majority white electorate. And they're coping and they're pissed and the internals, they all check out. They say this is a biased Republican pollster. Then how is Barack and Michelle plus 14, plus 15 in terms of likability? None of this adds up with any of them. You look at all of the ABC internals, they're total crap. Trump's the, men are tied in terms of supporting Trump. Trump's only up eight with men. He'll win men by 15, 16, 17 points. Democrats come out, they say men are devils. And then they're like, oh, you're devils. You're the worst people ever. You have all this privilege, but please vote for me. Oh yeah, that's really gonna work. It, it's total crap. I mean, they, I mean that, that's 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 their strategy. That is their strategy. No wonder they're winning women because it's like they're gods, and we need to give them even even more rights and things like that. It, it's like both men and women have the same rights, but they're manipulating it. And now it's even worse for men when you look, especially things like marriage, things like that, with how bad it is with this empowerment movement and women working now. But then they get half of this the the, the man stuff if, if if a divorce happens. It's total crap. But either way, guys, this is just the reality. These numbers, oh, it's liberal bias from this poll. Yeah, Barack Obama's plus 15 in terms of likability. It's a real bias poll. Really? This is total crap and total cope. And then any poll you get that has Kamala with her mythical four to six point lead, it all has absurdly inaccurate internal numbers, meaning men not really supporting Trump, which we know is going to happen. Trump's going to win them significantly or other things like approval rating where Trump's only at 35% in terms of approval rating when pretty much all the polls have him in the mid-40s. So, so the internal numbers are so bad in all these liberal skewed polls 
and they're coping with it and they're trying to say, oh my God, look at how bad this Atlas pull is. Yeah, it seems pretty accurate to me. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.